Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 2nd. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Sum by X by Bill Murphy. This is a little bit like X sums. Um, we've done quite a few X sums puzzles before, just with a little bit of a twist that completely messed with my brain when I just solved this. Uh, so hopefully um, I learned from that in the walkthrough here. But uh, we have normal set of rules, one to nine in each row column and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid and we have some shaded cells in the grid. And the clues work like X sums clues. They give the sum of the first sum number of digits uh, away from the clue. The number of digits is the shaded cell. It's the first shaded cell. So you'll notice this 16, there's a shaded cell here with a four in it. There's another shaded cell. We only care about this one for the 16 clue. This applies to the nine. Um, so whatever digit is in the shaded cell tells us how many cells we are summing. So this 23 clue, we're summing these four cells away from the 23 clue. And we know it's four cells because there's a four in the first shaded cell. The 16 clue, we're summing these four cells. The 17, we're summing these three cells, and so on. So those are the rules. Um, let's get started. And this is something to keep in mind um, for X sums anyway. Bill has been nice and just given us the two. Um, but for some of these lower um, totals, Oftentimes you'll end up with a two and you can just fill in the other digit. You don't have to worry about any more cells. So the first two cells sum to seven, first two cells sum to 11. And this way we have 13. We need the first two cells here as well. Even though the shaded cell isn't part of them, um, it's telling us the first two cells sum to 13. They're not four, nine, they're not five, Eight. So they are six and seven, and we can resolve those here. That leaves us with one, eight, and nine. And I will fill those in, although we'll be able to resolve this one immediately. Um, this clue is telling us these three sum to 17. We have eight, so this needs to be a nine. And this one is telling us these three sum to 17. We have nine, so we need an eight. That leaves us with one. All right, down here. Um, we have a 13, that's the sum of these three cells. We already have 12, so this needs to be a one. Uh, here we need 11 in the first two cells. It's not two nine, it's not three eight, it's not four seven, it must be five six. The 17 here, if we had three five here, just like we did up here, we would need a nine, but we can't here because we have a nine in the box already. So this must be in this order with an eight matching this. And that's gonna leave us with seven here. This clue, uh, we need four cells summing to 21. We have 19 already, so this is a two. Here we need 19 in the first four cells and we have 10, so this is a nine. Up here, we need 23 in the first four cells. This is 20, so this is a three. And this one, four, eight, and one is 13, so this is a three. Now this nine is telling us the first three cells here sum to nine. There are two ways to do that in three cells containing a three. This is something that you might pick up doing X sums. Um, those are three, one, five, and three, two, four, because we need six in the other two cells. Uh, it can't be two, four, so it must be one, five in this order because of the five. Uh, this 12 clue, I don't know if it's resolved yet. Uh, let's check. It can't be three, nine. If it were four, eight, it would need to be in this order. If it were five, seven, it would need to be in that order. And those are the only options. So we're left with two possibilities there. And other than that clue, we are just left with classic Sudoku. Um, it kind of looks in this puzzle like we don't have enough information to get in the middle of the grid, but Bill has designed this so that we do. Uh, we need one and three in this column, but they're already in the box, so they're gonna go down here. 
And then these will be four and nine. This box still needs a five, which is going to go here. Uh, it still needs a four, which has to go here from these fours. So these are two, five, and nine. This must be the five. And this must be two and nine. Uh, we still need a seven in the column and a two. And then a, not a three. This is six and eight. The seven resolves this clue. This must be four, eight. And this is going to resolve our six, eight and our nine, four. All right. This column, we still need one, three, seven, nine. There's a nine, a three, and a seven looking at this cell, so this is one. There's a three and a seven looking at this cell, so that's nine. And there's a seven looking at this and a three looking at this. These are two, three, four, five. We have two and four here, so this is three, five. And we know the order from that three. Two, four, resolved by the two and the four. These are five and eight. These are one, two, and four. These are six, seven, nine. Uh, down here, we need seven, eight, and that is resolved. It's gonna resolve our five, eight as well. It's gonna place a seven in this row. This row, we need two, four, five. That's gotta be the four. It's gonna leave a two, five pair. Uh, we need a three. Must go here, and then these are one and six. Uh, we need one and five in these cells. We need five and six, those are resolved. We need one and nine, those are resolved. Here we need six and nine, and that's finally going to get us into this column. Uh, that nine resolves six and nine, resolves one and six, five and one, two and five. This is now four, one, two. And to finish off, we need an eight and we need a four. That's the solution. Um, so really nice use of these clues. They are confusing if you have done a lot of X sums because you just want to think about the first cell differently. Um, but they're pretty straightforward rules wise. And the classic after is really nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments and I will see you next time.